Hi, this is Joe Cortez. You're watching Showbiz The Adult. Oh, this is Bernard Hopkins, Showbiz The Adult. I'm out. Oops, up off, Matt. When I see you, when I see you, up off, Matt. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz The Adult. All right, man, look. So, I'm going to do a reaction to Anthony Smith intruder video. Oops, and Tyson Fury. He said he's not offering Deontay Wilder no step aside money. Oops, I man, look. Let's get to the reaction. Big ass coffee. Uh, first, I want to say this. Thanks to everybody who showed up to the live stream last night. Uh, Anthony Smith uh, versus Teixeira. Uh, uh, I, I think that fight went on a little too long, <laughs> if you ask me. Teixeira was really giving a beat down to uh, Anthony Smith. And uh, big up to Anthony Smith for hanging in there. Uh, uh, and in light of that, uh, they said that they actually released uh, the intruder uh, uh, home invasion when it took place or moments before it actually took place. I want to see it. I haven't seen it. Black to sugars. Ah, let's get to the reaction. First, let's do this uh, intruder video and then we'll do Tyson Fury. Let's go. Typically, when people break in your house is during the day when you're not home. Uh, Dude, so hold on. What is wrong with that psycho? They wanna... What is wrong with him? What is wrong with him? That done pissed me off. What is wrong with him? Ah! What is? What's your? Calm down. What's your problem? Typically, when people break in your house, it's during the day. And Hold on, like, wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Time out. Time out. That's what he heard in his house? He was screaming at that pitch? Yeah, that is terrifying. That dude gave me a heart attack. I'm not watching this. I'm not watching any more of this. Where, give me something light. That was way too heavy. Give me something light. I'm not. Let me get some black two sugars. That is, I'm, I'm not on that today. Okay, I'm in my pajama pants, my football pajama pants. I'm trying to chill. Don't, don't say, <laughs> now, now I can laugh at, I was pissed. Now, don't send me nothing like, when I get scared like that, I get pissed. Don't send me anything like that. That is insane. Let me go to Tyson Fury and what he has to say. That is some, I'm not on that. What was it on, fight hype? Y'all tell me. That gave me a heart. Give me something like, here we go. Took us through the whole feeling in your brain when you were fighting uh, Wilder in Vegas. Let's go, we're off. They up. planking? We're off. Right. I guess for me, there's a normal fighting, the biggest puncher in the history. <laughs> I love Tyson Fury. <laughs> This is the worst. I went from being terrified to laughing my balzinis off. I, he's interviewing and planking? This man is interviewing and planking. Okay, let's go. Three of boxing, Deontay Wilder. Um, and everyone said, oh, the only chance Tyson's got is if he outboxes him. Tyson's a boxer, Wilder's a puncher. It's either knockout Wilder or points Fury. What, no, what did we say in this community? 
What did we say in this community? We said we already saw Tyson Fury uh, uh, try to outbox Deontay Wilder. It resulted in a draw. When he said that he was going to be aggressive, what did I say? Show biz law, no. I said, yeah, it behooves him to be aggressive because I said that Deontay Wilder was a learning machine. If you come with that same game plan, he was going to throw the punch lower, the, uh, uh, the angle where you're ducking, and he was going to end up getting knocked out doing it that way. I told him being aggressive was what actually work in his benefit. Showbiz adult community was on top of it. Mm-hmm. Everybody else was wrong. But I feel you. But I told everybody who'd listen that I was going to knock Wild around. Uh-huh. Because that something happened. I seen something in the first fight. I knew he couldn't beat me because if he was ever going to beat me, he'd beat me after having three years out of the ring with only two shitty comeback fights. Yep. And he couldn't do Big facts. If he was going to beat me, that was the best time to beat me. They called it a draw when I should have gotten a nod. Big facts. He couldn't even keep me down when he had me down. So well. He, knew he didn't move his best shots. And I got up from them. I knew I couldn't be defeated by him. Okay, okay. First of all, that's a good point. Not keep you down. He could knock you back. In, in the 12th round with Deontay Wilder, when he got up from that, that was huge. Okay, Tyson Fury getting up. I don't know how he got up. But to add to that, Deontay Wilder should have been able to finish him. In that situation, when he was knocked flat out like that, and he didn't have all his faculty, the fact that Deontay Wilder was swinging, windmilling, and couldn't finish him, he's right. Deontay Wilder should have been able to finish him. He should have kept his head together and been more patient. He should have knocked him out in the 12th round. The fact that he got his head back together and then rocked Wilder, that was more so uh, um, uh, a flaw on Deontay Wilder's part. That was, that was more so a flaw on Deontay Wilder than uh, something great uh, uh, from Tyson Fury. It's great that he got up, but the flaw was on Deontay Wilder for not finishing him. And it was mental strength, willpower, and determination, and the balls to just say, right, I'm going to put it straight on you, son. <laughs> you react to that. Big facts. Because they attacked him from the first second to the first bell. And I, I always wanted to give him a bit of payback from that first fight because he put me down twice. And in that third, in the second fight rematch, I think I put him down like three or four times. Uh, I think he officially knocked him down twice, right? So uh, officially it's two knockdowns. Uh, but yeah, uh, Deontay Wilder's getting dribbled off the canvas. That, that's, that's, that's facts. I could not believe it. Honestly. And uh, it was one of the most... It, it completed the greatest comeback in the history of boxing. Yeah, I've got a few guys that are interested in a movie and all that sort of stuff, a live story. But the thing is, I'm too busy with my uh, boxing career at the moment. I love to hear that, Tyson Fury, because there's a minute where I was feeling like the Gypsy King was about to call it. The Gypsy King was talking about wrestling and stuff like that, getting big money like that. I wasn't sure if uh, uh, Tyson Fury was dedicated to the game like he once was. It's good to hear that. As a boxing fan, it's good to hear that. I've got some massive news coming up in the next few days, or nice. next week or so. Um, what is it? Something, so. Keep tuned for that, but yeah, I think we've got the, the rematch for a while they're on as well at yeah. some point. And then we've got the two AJ fights for well, one, and then obviously when I batter in the other one, a rematch. That's it! <laughs> he just said he's going to have the Deontay Wilder fight and then two AJ fights. He said when he batter him, he's going to have a rematch. I, Tyson Fury just laid it out. So we don't need to speculate what's going to happen. He just laid it out. Deontay Wilder is going to get his fight. Then after that, it's two AJ fights. Uh, but the step aside money, I, I like to I like to hear about that. Who are you going to fight first, Wilder or uh, Joshua? Well, Wilder's got a rematch clause. So I saw he Wilder... said something. I saw he said about taking a payout yesterday. Doing that though, because he ain't going to want to fight you again, mate. That was like the most embarrassing moment of his life. Yeah, for sure, but. You know, I, uh, I'm not paying him no money to step aside. I'd rather take his scalp again. <laughs> uh, I'll beat him in the ring and then that's how I'll get him out the way. I'm not, I wouldn't pay him. I wouldn't pay him two million to step aside. I'd rather give him another battering again. Yeah, because in a way it looks like... <laughs> you you want to know what this is? <laughs> you want to know? Because he's really running off at the mouth right now. You want to know what this is? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I did a video not that long ago. In response to all of the Deontay the Bronze Barber Wilder fanboys. You guys remember that video? When I was telling you guys 
how you're supporting Deontay Wilder is all wrong. That's not support. When I was telling you guys what I was doing by not uh, giving Deontay Wilder any excuses, not believing in Glovegate, not saying that he was poisoned and all that. When I was saying how to support Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder is to see him as the gladiator he is. Instead of saying, uh, uh, this excuse, that excuse. Give him his belt back. That wasn't supporting him. See, you guys weren't speaking like gladiators. You weren't speaking as warriors. You were speaking as crybabies. When the truth is, he just took a butt whooping. He just took a butt whooping and he could bounce back and knock out Tyson Fury. But nobody was sounding like that. Now everything about Deontay Wilder is looking soft, man. This guy's running off at the mic. I told you. I told y'all. When you guys were coming at me, I told you. I told you. Sort of like if you do that, he'll have that. He can hold that, can't he? Say, oh, he didn't want to fight me again. He paid me to get out. Exactly. I'm going to take him out again for the third time, hopefully end of the year, and then we're going to go into 2021 um, for the biggest fight in boxing history between two undefeated British heavyweights, uh, me and AJ, and we're going to battle out for all the gold. You capping? AJ isn't undefeated. AJ uh, got knocked out by uh, Andy Ruiz. Maybe you forgot about that. It's a bigger fight than Lewis Tyson all day long. Yeah, because we're both undefeated. Me and Wilder was big, 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 big fight since the 1970s because we were both undefeated champions. And, you know, there used to be a three-headed monster in this division. It was me, Wilder and Joshua. And then Ruiz knocked out Joshua and burst that bubble. Broke yeah. him in. Okay. And then I broke in uh, the bronze bomber. And then three became two, two became one. And now yeah. I'm a standalone soldier. I get it. That was dope. That was dope what he just said. Now he's a standalone soldier. That was dope. But uh, either way, uh, we would love to see Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. I do have uh, Tyson Fury. I, like I've been saying, I thought Tyson Fury was the best heavyweight out there. Um, but, and I always had him ranked number one. But I thought his best opposition would be Deontay Wilder because Deontay Wilder got that lights out one punch that can end everything. Uh, but Tyson Fury brutalized him the second to outbox him the first time. So uh, really, Tyson Fury has a point. Uh, he's on top of the hill. Um, but uh, I would still love to see AJ versus Tyson Fury. I'll still love to see it. All day long. All day long. They, all, they all need to come through me now. All you need is to defeat Wilder again, do Joshua twice. And then you might not need to go on after that. We might have, what, three years left, maybe? Do you know what? I, I've been thinking about it. And initially, I had three fights left on me, me contract. I've got two fights left on it now. I've right. got Wilder and Joshua. So, but I'm just going to keep going because there's nothing else to do, is there, really? Yeah, like, for me, on. I'm 31. Thank you. Keep going. You, okay, look, when it comes to legacy and it come, when it comes to great careers, it's not about just wiping out who's it directly in front of you right now. There's people coming up. There's people coming up. There's other fighters coming up. When Muhammad Ali was coming up, he beat people on his way up. He beat people at the top. And he beat people on his way down. He beat George Foreman. He beat Spinks. He beat people on his way down. That's a great career. Tyson Fury uh, uh, cleaning out, uh, uh, beating the likes of Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. If he beats Anthony Joshua, there's still guys. There's Daniel Dubois. There's Andy Ruiz. There's Dillian White. Uh, uh, there's a Jog Bay. Like I said, there's guys coming up. Uh, uh, there's Adam Kaunaki. There's guys he could take on. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, Tyson Fury, look, Klitschko did it. Klitschko beat people on his way up, and he beat people on his way out. And then he got beaten by Tyson the Gypsy King Fury, and then he got beaten again by AJ on his way out. That's a career. That's what happens. Tyson Fury, he's absolutely right. You beat, you clean out your, uh, you clean out the top guys that's there right now, and then you take on guys coming up. You give them the opportunity to take your lineal title. You give them the opportunity to, to become undisputed. You give those guys, that's how you reign as champion. They've all done it. All the great fighters done it. Everybody from Henry Armstrong, Willie Pep, Sugar Ray Robinson, everybody up to now. So he's absolutely right. Uh, keep, keep taking on fights. It's not about the right now. It's about your total career. He's absolutely right. One years old, fit as a fiddle. So, you know, there's plenty of fights out there for me to beat up on. You, know, yeah. you got Dylan White, you yeah. got Jarrell Miller, you got Pulev, you got Ruiz, you got Ortiz, you got um, Dubois, you got Joyce. There's what Tony, did I just say? There's uh, Jagba, the big Nigerian uh, Olympian. There's, there's, there's Tony Oka, the French Olympic gold medalist. There's so many. 
Who's the old? Who's the oldest heavyweight? Ch like holding a belt, heavyweight world champion of the world. Was that Klitschko? No, it was no, George Foreman. George Foreman. He what age did he get to? George Foreman had ten years out the ring. Oh my right. god! From 1978 to 1988, and then he came back and won the world and title. He came back and he had about 20, 25 warm-up fights, <laughs> and then he had three world title fights. He lost to Tommy Morrison first. Then he lost to Evander Holyfield. That's two world title shots. No, he lost to Evander Holyfield got first. Third one, and he knocked out Michael Mora. That is unreal. I love that. I love that. He was a little bit off target a few times, but I love that he knows his boxing history. Now, that that's that's how you really gain the respect of boxing fans. When you are, uh, uh, it's just like Iron Mike Tyson. How Iron Mike Tyson studied up on great fighters before him. Okay, for him to know those guys behind him and give them that respect. Uh, you really got my respect. Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. And I, I, I already like the guy. Now I like him even more for that. That's awesome. Take me out because he's a massive puncher, but it'd be up to me to just slip and slide and move him around, show him a bit of respect. Wish there's no one better in the world that does that than you. Uh, that was great. That was an excellent interview. Uh, uh, Tyson Fury said a lot of things there. I can't wait to read your comments. Um, uh, yeah, uh, Deontay Wilder, uh, you know, he's been extremely quiet and I'm um, waiting for Deontay Wilder's comeback. Uh, like I said before, uh, I didn't really think Deontay Wilder would take step aside money. Not only Tyson the Gypsy King Fury not offering it, but I, I don't think Deontay Wilder would take it. I think Deontay Wilder wants to strap back, honestly. And uh, and I know Deontay Wilder did respect the lineal uh, uh, championship, but I think he really should. So I think Deontay Wilder uh, uh, shouldn't step aside. I think he should go ahead and take the fight. I want to see Tyson Fury versus AJ more than Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury 3 because I know the outcome. But as far as De uh, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder and his fans... I think uh, he, he should go ahead and take that fight. Don't take the step aside money. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Show biz for adult. I'm out.